Many years ago, due to climate change, early humans migrated over time from Africa to surrounding continents. They lived in small groups and went from place to place to find food. We want to introduce you to some interesting facts about the lives of the first humans. Join us and subscribe to our channel to see the interesting scientific content of the day. One day, about 120,000 years ago, a few humans wandered along the banks of an ancient lake in what is now known as the Nifu Desert in Saudi Arabia. They may have stopped for a drink of water or to watch herds of buffalo, elephants, or wild donkey trample the mudflats. Within hours of passing through, their footprints dried out and eventually became fossils. Now these ancient footsteps give us rare evidence of when and where early humans once lived on the Arabian Peninsula. These are the first genuine human footprints of Arabia. So says archaeologist and team leader Michael Petraglia of the Max Planck Institute for Science of Human History. The Arabian Peninsula has long been seen as the obvious route that early members of our species took as they traveled out of Africa and into the Middle East and Eurasia. Stone tools suggest ancient humans explored the Arabian Peninsula at different times in our history when the climate was wetter and its harsh deserts were green grasslands dotted with freshwater lakes. However, Researchers have found only one single human bone dating back 88,000 years to prove modern humans, rather than some other hominid toolmaker, lived there. After 10 years of scouring the Arabian Peninsula using satellite imagery and ground truthing, Petraglia and his international colleagues could identify tens of thousands of ancient freshwater lake beds, including the one in the Nefru, dubbed al athar meaning the trace in Arabic. There, they identified hundreds of footprints on a heavily trampled lake bed surface, which had recently been exposed when overlying sediments eroded. Almost 400 tracks by animals, including camels, giant buffalo, elephants, and even wild donkeys. Of those 400 tracks, only seven were made by humans. However, in comparing the shape and size of those tracks with those made by modern humans and Neanderthals, the researchers determined the tracks were probably made by people with longer feet, taller bodies, and smaller stature. They were more Homo sapiens rather than Neanderthals, as they report today in science advances. Researchers say the age of the sediments also suggests the tracks were made by Homo sapiens using a process known as optically stimulated luminescence, which measures electrons to find out when layers of sediment were last exposed to light. The team dated the sediments before and after the footprints to 120,000 and 120,000 years. At that time, Neanderthals were absent from the Levant, that's the Middle East, says co-author Matthew Stewart of the Max Planck Institute for Chemical Ecology. Therefore, we can argue that Homo sapiens were likely responsible for the footprints. There's a lot resting on these dates, however. Geochronologist Bert Roberts of the University of Wollongong notes some uncertainties with dating methods at the site, including older ages for animal fossils and potential uses with calculating the precise rate of decay of uranium in the sediments. The dates for the footprints might be the right ballpark, he says, but more could be done to validate them.
The team can't entirely exclude Neanderthals, says paleoanthropologist Marta Mirazon Lar, the University of Cambridge, because the fossil record is so spotty in Arabia. But she thinks Homo sapiens is the more likely candidate. Even more intriguing, she notes, the footprints show the humans were capable of moving long distances between Africa and Arabia and must have had fairly large foraging parties to have been able to penetrate deep into the rich interior wetlands of Arabia. The nation of human and animal footprints laid down in the same day or so also offers a rare picture of a day in the life of an ancient human. In most cases, animal and human fossils found in the same fossil bed were buried hundreds, if not thousands of years apart and never set eyes upon each other. These footprints give us a unique look at the humans living in this area at the same time as the animals says paleoanthropologist Kevin Hatala of Chatham University in Pittsburgh, an expert on ancient footprints. That tight association in time is what's so exciting to me.